We're back, and we're heading towards the woodlands, uh, towards Big Bigby's apartment. And these are the luxury apartments, I think. This is where all the cool people in Fable Town hang out. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Someone must have been on <laughs> on that grass to begin with, to put this, that sign down. Yeah. That is uh, probably a point. Like that person. Stay yeah, off the grass. There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know uh, this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Um, Damn it, yeah. I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Should we stay out of it? Just please. Uh, yeah, sure. I'd... Look, I'm leaving. Whatever it is, it's here. between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. You gotta be careful, Fire. I might randomly give you decisions to make. I uh, know. Take them by It's not right. what you might be thinking. <laughs> We're together on this playthrough. You can't leave all of the decisions to me to make. Okay, okay, fair, fair. Like tag teaming. All right. So this is the main office. Someone check my mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. I never noticed that before, but room 204 is actually scrubbed, and that is Bigby's apartment, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's really weird. So he must have recently moved in. Um, let's check the suit of armor. Oh, has it got a genie in it? Just lots of dust. Just a lot of dust, I think. Genies are elsewhere. So I see this guy <laughs> sleeping at the front desk. Hey, you wink. Mm, ah, Officer Grimm. Probably for the best. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's actually a fairy tale or not, but he's pretty out of it. I guess I'll let him sleep. He is kind of a fairy tale. It's the brothers Grimm that these stories are based off of. So Grimble. Maybe. But yeah, that's likely. I'll have to check the the fairy tale index and see if he's actually one of them. I don't really <laughs> Is that a joke or is that actually a thing? <laughs> oh, that's actually a thing. Uh, here, I just okay. paused it. And here's the book of fables. And there's all the fables, so... Oh, uh, okay. I'll I was just... thinking of some mythical book you had at home. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. There's actually a book where you can reference every fable that's in this game, just in case you're confused. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? 
Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. I Why? guess we legitimately don't know anyway, so... I mean, I, I said I would stay out of it, so I'm staying out of it. Until it becomes relevant that I need to get into it. But at this point, we've, uh... Had a long day and kind of just want to get back to the apartment and kick our feet up, I think. Clean up some of our wounds. Yeah, we're not that bad off. They're probably already all healed. They must have taken a potion. Big Big B's got some crazy region. Should have cracked a window. <laughs> I, I didn't notice uh, before him uh, taking the phone off the hook. That's pretty funny. Well, you put the phone on the hook in the other place. You've got a phone fascination. There you go, all better. <sighs> what a night. That is some healing stream. Yep. Let's check what's in the fridge. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. <laughs> he has four boxes of Huff and Puffs, which are his cigarette brand, and one bottle of ketchup. That is his food. I've never thought about putting my cigarettes in the fridge before. Oh, and that needs a proper defrost. Yeah, it does. I find it's funny that the ice is everywhere but in the ice tray. It's just kind of like a <laughs> this is the worst fridge in the world sort of vibe. I didn't read this last time. I just kind of ignored it. It didn't seem relevant. Never trusted this guy. Okay. Well, we don't really know anything about Bluebeard yet. Just that he has a file out on the desk. I don't even remember ordering. And his ashtray. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, he uh, Wolf smokes a lot of cigarettes. Also, um. Oh, your living partner. Yep. It's Colin. Hi, Colin. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Come on, I'm tired. I guess he's I'm the one tired, in the house Colin. of bricks. It's been a long day. Yeah, you kind of owe him, considering you ate both of his brothers. <laughs> True. It's a bit of a twist on the tail to actually invite him in to live with you. Got a smoke? Thanks. Couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. I'll tell you, you what don't I know told what Toad. It's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. I just want some rest. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. And some bacon. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I was just hungry. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. 
Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's my job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. Now, more words like that would have to make you sure... You think my job is easy? Settings. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, well, there was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Uh, Colin, I, think a cup of I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. All right, here you go, buddy. Thanks, Big B. Wrong cup of Bovril coming right up. Oh dear. I forgot I was playing for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he was just resting on the chair, just like uh, Wolf. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Oh, well, she was to the point. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm. What happened? What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Real talk, I have no idea who that guy was that just stopped us in the hallway. <laughs> I don't remember him at all. Was that someone headless or was that just the jacket? Just the jacket, from the looks. But what's under the jacket? <gasps> no. Should have given her that money. You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She was a working girl, I think. I can't place her. I'm gonna get that blowy. A working girl. A working girl. Still a chance, though. I don't 
I mean, I am a working. Oh. It's being subtle. Come on, Snow. The woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. Did you see anyone, I think? It took me a second to yeah. realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. Well, I would remember. Don't fall off of themselves. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. As a side note, I'm pretty sure Mondays is slang for mundane people, like just normal people that aren't Fables. Oh, I see. Alright. Let's do some investigation. Um, check out the laceration on the neck, or, well, um, just the neck, or what's left of it, I guess. Strange cut. What did this to her? So, what can do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Oh, oh. you're dicking them in the mouth. <laughs> Um, something in her mouth. From what the looks. Let's investigate that further. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Okay. And she probably gone. tried to swallow it just before she, she died. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Let's do some more investigating. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. Alright. Let's do some looking around. Um... Let's go back towards the gate. And there's that pool of blood that wasn't uh, just up the, the way. Nobody there. Yeah, I'll head over there in a second. I will touch on one thing, though. Um, you said I should have given her that money. That was yeah. that was something you said. In the first the first time I played through this, um, I didn't notice this blood trail. That's unrelated. Blood. But um, wow. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. I didn't go over this way. That's that's a pretty big deal. I completely missed all this last time. But anyway, if if you give her the money, she dies anyway. Fabric. Oh, okay. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. We see illusion of choice quite often for Telltale games, but that often is is fine. Yeah. It still works. Yeah. That's that's the reason I explicitly didn't give her money this time. Just some loose trash. It's because I kind of knew what was going to oh. happen. <laughs> Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Alright. So, fence post. Nothing in the trash can. So, they came from this way. We know that much. Um, let's check the other way.
I don't see any other stuff up here. Okay, I think we got everything. I'm just amazed that I didn't... I didn't check that alleyway the first time I played through this game. Let's they see. kind of foreshadow it. They uh, do show that blood stain on the corridor. Yeah, I just completely missed it for some reason. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just... Hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Mm. How did this happen? Mm. I'd say it's a Why message. To, to this is a message. Send it to you. Yeah. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Placement of the head. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm going to have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Mm, just wait a little. I know you don't little. like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation yeah, I need questions. to find out who did this. You don't have that sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. This is also something I'm going to play slightly Crane's differently. not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Last time I told Crane immediately, so we'll see the difference. Yeah, and you know, in uh, games and stories and movies, it's always the evil mayor. Just look at Buffy. Buffy. <laughs> All right. Quick pause. Um, that is a pretty good place to stop for this episode. Next time, we will go to the business office and talk to Snow White and attempt to uh, not talk to Crane about what just happened as we don't really have that much information to go on and kind of it's kind of insinuated a little bit that he'll freak the flip out if we tell him and we just want to keep this on the DL for a bit or as long as we can. Um, but anyway, thanks guys for watching and thanks Fireweaver for staying with me and we will be resuming shortly. So thank you. Uh